Hey, how you doing? I'm good, George. How are you, sir? Good, good. Congratulations on the film. Thank you. Thank you very much. There's so much of this story that I did not know. So while I was watching it, it was like an education, which which is 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 such a great experience to to have. Uh, when when you settled on that you were going to do this, what was kind of the catalyst for you to want to tell George's George's story? And were you were you surprised that it hadn't been told in this way? for because biopics seem to be a big thing these days yeah i was very surprised that it hasn't been told because you you know uh you have a lot of boxy movies but what boxy movies that had this kind of journey and i was just really blown away as a filmmaker i just wanted to capture the the inspirational side of the story the fun part of the story because later on in george's life as as the change happened i mean here's a guy who's at 340 pounds how would anybody get down to that, to, to, to challenge themselves for the heavyweight championship belt again. So you have that part of his life. And then the part of the, on on these these magnificent fights, that historical fights that was actually, uh, George was part of. Um, those are the things for me where I felt like I had to tackle all that to make sure that is all there. So the audience can get an experience and get experience of the roller coaster ride and fun that the movie has that I was really excited about. Well, I guess when you do these biopics, it's hard because you want to do justice to the person and you want to tell their life story, but you need to leave stuff in and you need to take stuff out to make a kind of coherent, dramatic story in some respects. Was there anything that you had to leave out that you really wanted to put in or did you manage to get in everything that you, you thought was important to, to George and his legacy? Yeah, I think it, I felt like we covered a lot in the film and I felt like I needed the whole story. I couldn't do half of the story. I needed to start at the 60s and go to 94 to get the complete journey of a young man struggling to find himself and then to a man who found himself but didn't have to overcome all these obstacles. Um, but when I look back at it, you know, I think if anything, um, you know, there was the great many more fights that he had, like the Ron Lyle fight uh, that he had uh, right before Jimmy Young. There was like five knockouts. And then George endured that fight and won it in 12 rounds, one of the best fights in the world. But do I need do I need to have that story in there? Do I need to tell that story? Um, the major thing was very important for me to cover the Ali and George Foreman relationship. Um, that relationship changed over time, um, and it was very important to get that fight right. And we spent a lot of time with that. So as a filmmaker, you always want to tell more. Um, but you know, I believe in having films at the right length at the right time to keep the audience um, engaged all the way through. And obviously you're dealing with with boxing and obviously you're coming off the hills of a third Creed film and Rocky and all the other ones in between. So for you as a filmmaker, what was the challenges in terms of the fight scenes? Because they've been some, done so many different ways. Yeah, I mean, that was the biggest challenge because all these major fights were one of the biggest fights in, in you know, boxing history. You know, George Foreman got four of the major historical fights ever ever fought. So how do we get it right? You know, especially the Joe Frazier fight. And, you know, that was six knockdowns in two rounds. And then the Ali fight, how do you get the, the final knockdown in eight in the round eight? Um, Jimmy Young, you know, the, 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 the heat in, in, in Puerto Rico. All those things were very important. So we spent a lot of time to get the choreography right, the hits right, the body movements. Um, it's just because these fights are on YouTube. Everybody's seen them. And you need to have that sense of being authentic for people to appreciate that we went all the way to try to get the film exactly how George experienced it in real life. So that was very, very, very important to us. And in terms of how to approach it from other boxing, um, I'm a big boxing fan, so I've seen a lot of those movies. But when I started the film, I stayed away from them. The main thing was just sort of like go from your instincts. And we did real boxing. There was real hits. Uh, a lot of our boxing um, opponents in the film were real boxers. So there's no fakes or it's, it's all real here. Um, you know, the hit of Ali, of uh, Chris Davis took 42 hits to the chin to get that, get that shot right. So um, that's the thing that I feel proud of the most is that we got, we accomplished that and getting that right. Yeah, I was going to ask you that because some of them did look real, and I was wondering, did did someone take some real punches then? But there, there you go, you you did. It does add an authenticity to it. <laughs> I guess it is boxing after, after all. Uh, as a as a filmmaker, I mean, lots of different directors talk about casting. You know, some say it's seventy five percent, some say it's ninety percent. For you as a filmmaker, how important 
it's the casting kind of percentage do you would you say it's the most important thing would you say the 90 percent is is kind of right because with this you obviously have gone for not necessarily people we haven't seen before but people that were right for the roles rather than just casting big big names uh for the roles yeah i say 90 percent is the key you know having someone who's first dedicated uh, who has the technique and the skills and the range that was the key for George Foreman is having the range. There's th really two individuals in one film, the George pre-Jimmy Young fight and after Jimmy Young fight. The George Foreman that we know, the grill, the guy in his 40s is what the world remembers the most. And then you got the younger. So really the ideal is having this, someone who has the capabilities for the dedication and the physical dedication for the role, um, but also who has the spirit. And that's something that I learned from just talking to guys like filmmakers like Steven Soderbergh and, or Mark Scorsese is that casting is the key. And also the chemistry, I think, is very important. The chemistry is a partnership that you have with the actor. And um, I was very excited when Chris came in for our chemistry read with Sullivan Jones for Ali. That was the first chemistry test that we had, those two guys. Um, and we had boxing there um, at the same time. And that's when you feel like, wow, these guys are these roles and that what gets it you know makes it exciting for me as a filmmaker and also the trust factor starts to come in there do you and there's so many sports movies and i i have my favorites do you have your favorites of the, the kind of sub genre because there's so many there's so many good ones and it's it's so hard to make because sometimes sport doesn't necessarily translate to a, a film i know as an englishman and watching football fat and football uk soccer movie mine's white man can't jump i love that i love white man can't jump it's such a great film yeah there's so <laughs> many so many great so many great sports films i mean i mean if you look at the original rocky is great you know mm. uh if you look at cinderella man by ron howard you know um, mm. These are all great films in sports and boxing. And I think the key is the one thing that always sort of works is you got a great subject. Who's the subject matter? Mm. Uh, like Raging Bull, you know, it's like here's the subject matter of a man who actually got to the Olympics in, within a year or two and did not know how to box and won. And here's a man who lost the boxing championship belt and won it 20 years later wearing the same trunks that he wore in Africa. Like, these are things that, like, okay, you can write a great script, but these is a real subject. And I think it goes with the subject. And I love nonfiction, and I love that this is real. This is not made up. Fantastic. Well, George, I wish you all the best with the movie. Thank you so much for your, for your time. I hope it goes well for you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey, You Guys. Hey, you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> Hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys!